guest injuries, none, thankfully. <laughs> Capacity operational hotel. Ooh, yes. I saw the hotels earlier on. I was like, mm, should we do that? But we do have a four million. Holy heck. Definitely want to get ourselves a heck of an hotel, but where should we put it? I could probably put it over here, honestly, like right across the street from the, uh, yeah, it's going to be basically in the middle of the park. Would that be a, I'm like, they're going to be like right next to the ACU center. <laughs> so the helicopter and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if that'd be a lo good location. Man, I don't know. I, I guess I could put it over here. That way newcomers are like, hey, I want to go to the hotel. But nope, you have to go through pretty much the entire park to go to the hotel. <laughs> I should put this maybe, maybe over here. Maybe on the other side of the river or the lake. I could get rid of some of the water. That way I'm hopefully able to build right here. So yeah, let's get rid of some of the water in this little lake area and just kind of round it out, make it look natural. And of course, the trees aren't that big of a deal. They'll just cut down the trees automatically. So let's go back to guests, hotel. <gasps> yes, we could build the hotel. Perfect, you guys. And I'm like, I don't want it to be too close to an enclosure. I kind of want it to be like on its own a little bit. About right here should be fine. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good spot. Oh, it even gets rid of the, some of the water too on its own. That's, that's honestly pretty good. Might want to put a thing right next to it. Uh, fast food, clothes shop. What do we not have? Emergency shelter. That'd be pretty good for the, uh, the hotel, honestly. So yeah, let's put that emergency shelter, like basically on the border. That way, there we go. I'm like, we, mm, we could have it out in the open and people be like, hey, there's an emergency, emergency shelter. They're nice and prepared just in case anything happens. <laughs> let's get ourselves a substation. That way it's able to cover both the viewing gallery. Oh, honestly, the viewing gallery, the emergency shelter, and the hotel. Hopefully that'll be nice and covered. Let's put it about right there, and let's hook it up to this pylon right there. All right, is that good? I think everything's covered. Hopefully so. So let's demolish this substation. $15,000 back, not bad. And everything's powered. And of course, these are still being built, so they're not quite done just yet. Definitely need to build the pathways. So let's get a bigger pathway here for the hotel. I'm like, we're definitely going to need it, right? So, I'm like, it is a hotel. Definitely want to have a big pathway. Uh, should we put it on this? Like, on the corner of this? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Like, right here. That's pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, for your comfort, we've increased the hotel capacity of the island. Yes! Hotel capacity up. Hotel number two. Wait, do we have hotel again somewhere else? Because I didn't see it. <laughs> maybe it's somewhere on the other side of the map and I just didn't see it. Or maybe it means hotel between all the islands or something like that. Uh, emergency shelter doesn't have a path, I think. I think that's what that is. Right? Yeah, I don't have a pathway. Requires path connection. And for that, I kind of want to just connect that up to the pathway of the hotel. That way it kind of makes sense, you know? Anyways, let's go to the emergency shelter. I can barely even see it. Where's the pathway at? I guess we just build it from anywhere, right? So, boom. I wonder if I could actually... Oh, space to toggle curved. All right, perfect. That's what I wanted. And then, I like that. I like that. That's pr Honestly, that's pretty cool. Doesn't really blend in too well with the... Uh, yeah, I should probably change the pathway type because it goes from this fancy pathway to the cheapo stuff. Let's just do that. There we go. So that goes to the emergency center. Everyone's going to be like, yes, they're nice and prepared for emergencies and stuff. I like that. There we go. All right. Well, the hotel's up and running. How are things going? Uh, can't really control anything, I don't think. Can't control like how much money they spend here. Should be free, right? I guess like it's, it's an on-park thing, so there's that. Anyways, might want to get more... Ah, I'll keep this nice and open. They can see the water from there, so that's going to be kind of cool. All right. I'm, I'm honestly liking things so far. We've got a lot of good things going so far, you guys. Definitely working on the park. Our star rating's almost at two stars. Hopefully the hotel's going to help out with that, you guys. But yeah, let's go back to the Lance Formation. It's always classic. You get three different types of uh, fossils there, so that's good. <gasps> Edmontosaurus Amber. Yes, we need that because he's... I think he might be our lowest guy. Not counting the Ceratosaurus, honestly. Anyways, Trike. Eh, three stars? Honestly, pretty good. He's going he's gonna to hit 100% here pretty soon. Ooh, and then of course sell this piece of trash. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Dinosaur photos worth five thousand dollars. Really need to see if these guys can drive a vehicle. Oh, yes! Oh my God, we're driving the vehicle, and there's a button to take a photo. Yes, I'm sorry if you guys were like, "Hey, oh, what crashed into that?" <laughs> but now we can take a photo. Oh, what in the world? Oh no, he's dead. Oh no, I didn't even see that, you guys. Well, I don't want to take a photo of that dead dinosaur, I'll tell you that much. Unless maybe that's going to be worth $5,000, picture of a dead dinosaur? I don't think so. Where's our critter at? Where's our Sustriomimus? I can go in the water, of course, because we are on a... Look at that! You can even see the Jurassic World logo on the side of it. Barely, though. I can't rotate the camera around, but man, I guess we could reason. Oh, there he is right there. Okay, let's take a picture of that whenever the dead body's not in frame. No, get away from the dead body. Can I zoom in? Yes, I can zoom in. That's good. 
Ooh, get the dead body out of the frame, though. <laughs> oh, there we go. Can't see the dead body. And it's worth seven. Man. Ah, I collect the reward. I might as well get a little. I might as well. Might get a little bit closer. That should be beautiful. Should be beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. It's like it's got a broken neck. It's got a heckin' broken neck. Collect that reward for 5,000. Man. Might as well get that money. What happens if I take a picture of a dead body like that? <laughs> Another one, perhaps? Nope, nope, that's not working. That's not happening. Okay, l let me Did get out of here. Happen? What happened to that dino? Man, it must it. Does it say how it died? Oh, man, I didn't notice it. I didn't notice this thing died. I was too busy memeing around with some other stuff, building hotels and whatever. And I didn't see the dead body, so... Yeah, we're definitely going to need to send this team over here to... Acknowledging asset collection request. Yeah, remove that. Yeah, they're going to have to take care of that, but... Uh, oh, yeah, there's a trike, too. Yeah, I might as well get back on my ranger team. And, yeah, I might as well go take a picture of, like, a Ceratosaurus or something like that. You guys want to go do that? Oh! We got some new stuff. Oh, 40,000. Ah, that's nothing. <laughs> True Theomime is 80%. Let's get some of that. Three-star DNA. Really good. Two-star DNA right here for the trike. Ah, we're slowly getting up to 100%. Slowly getting there, you guys. But let's go back to the ranger station and let's actually use our thing. I did not think you were able to actually, you know, take control of it. I thought you were like locked in. They were controlling it for you. Oh, yeah, let's stay off the heckin' sidewalks. Woo, stay out of here, hater. Let's go look at it. Oh, jeez. Assets in the air. All right, that's good. That's good. Get that dead thing out of here. Unfortunately, uh, I'm like, it was a low genome Edmontosaurus. So it might have died of natural causes. There are no predators in there. I mean, I don't even know where my park... Okay, so here's the ACU center. So that means we need to go all the way over here. Oh, oh, oh! Ooh, no dead park goers yet. Don't want to make the first one. Sheesh. <laughs> Come on. Hey, how's it going, you guys? Hopefully we'll get a picture of the Ceratus horse. I'll be worth more money. Be okay access? Hopefully the Ceratus horse does not escape. There it is all the way over there. Take a picture of the goat. Take a picture of the goat. Oh! Oh, take a picture. Yes! Yeah! No, no one wants it. It certainly has potential. <laughs> yeah, I'll take another picture somewhere else. Hopefully we don't get attacked. Oof. I wonder if you get closer. Yeah, oh my gosh, yes! <gasps> this might not be great art, but I like it. Yeah, look at that $9,000, you guys. Awesome! Wow! So... You got some skills behind the lens. I hear those photographs you took were excellent, so... You can call that contract complete. Ooh, wow. Series repetition. Oh, there's a penalty if you take the same. Okay. Might as well collect the reward, get some money. Whoa! Here we go. Your rep is off the charts. So you're getting a reward for the entertainment division for your work on Isla Man and Saros. <laughs> Alright. So Isla Man and Saros gave us more reputation. No! Our stars are down to one and a half. There's a goat over here. Hopefully a Ceratosaurus doesn't come over here. Woo. Yeah, we're pretty close to him this time, you guys. Woo. There we go. Ah, only 2,400? Might as well get a little bit of... I'm like, I could take a picture of it eating the heckin' goat. If it's gonna eat it all. Dun. 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 Oh, the goat! What's it doing? Oh! Kinda wanna move the... Oh. Okay, let's get... Let's get a little bit closer. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss the action. Oh, okay. Nothing bad happened yet. Or nothing good, I guess, right? Jeez. Run into the stairs and stuff here. Man, the goat. Come on. Come on. Kill it. Die. Guess he doesn't care. All right, whatever. Well, we'll worry about that a little bit later. We have a couple goats just kind of doing what they do, you know, existing until they're dead. <laughs> but let's leave. Let's get out of here. Oh, man. I'm down to 1.1 stars. What's happening? Man, okay, you take control, I don't care. I need to go back, I need to see what's wrong with my park. Uh, reputation, star rating and stuff. Dinosaurs are going down, okay, variety. Yeah. That's probably why the variety went down significantly when the, uh, Edmontosaurus died. So, might as well make a new critter. And by that, oh, yeah, we can, we can do two critters at once. So, definitely want to use that. Let's get the Draco Rex. I'm like, we don't have too much more stuff going on. I don't know if I want to... Modify the... I might as well. What do we have here? Oh, I can give it the arid pattern. That'd make the viability go down by 5%. Rating overall goes up by 25%. Wow. It goes from 22 to 28. Not bad. It might be worth it, though. Ah, man. But viability goes down. 
pretty decent amount. Is it worth it though for the arid pattern? I think I think we're going to just get a regular one for right now. Uh, we can have the skin toughness go up. Yes, let's do this. It does make the rating go up by 5%. Defense goes up by 4 Probably don't need defense, honestly. I could probably keep him as is with the null gene. Yeah, I think we might be fine. Let's just get a regular one. Incubate the Draco Rex. Let's get another hatching bay open for the Hwangasaurus. If that's even how you pronounce it. <laughs> Two hundred ten $10,000 to get this one. Uh, oh, Savannah Pattern and Arid Pattern. Ooh, this one goes up by 25%. Oh, so it's the same thing either way. So, eh. And this is the skin toughness. Yeah, I don't need to really do that. So let's incubate that one as well. And let's, I guess, just open up that gate. Oh, hold on. We have a, we have a heckin' trike eating some food. This is basically free money here, you guys. Just taking pictures of these critters and selling the pictures. And it was like a, a penalty for basically taking a picture of the same thing happening. So I wonder if we'll get a picture of this trike eating. Oh man, it's running away. Man! Might be, I might have spooked it with my Jeep. Ooh, definitely want to keep our distance. Definitely want to use the zoom to our advantage, you guys. Uh, yeah, it seems to be running away when we're closer, so. Definitely want to keep our distance. Yeah, look at that. You can see on the side there, it says Jurassic World. That's so cool. Ooh, what about the other critter, though? Is he going to eat? I don't know. Uh, what about this way, with, like, the grass and stuff? I think I see what you're going for. Worthless, completely worthless. What about the uh, the trike and straight towards us? Head on view. Worth that? A decent amount of money. Not bad. Multiple dinosaur bonus. Ooh, diverse behavior bonus. Ooh. Yeah, let's get the money. Free money. I wonder if I'll be able to get the shot with both these guys in the view. That'd be kind of cool. A dinosaur ready to release. Oh, it's the trike coming over here to kill me. No, it's running away. Okay. Let's see if I can fit both these guys in the same shot. I'm relatively close. Oh, there he goes. And a penalty for the same thing. I guess we can take the money. It's worth it, right? <sighs> Free money. Well, these dinosaurs, two out of three. All right, well, I'm done here. You guys can take over from here. Take the wheel. And we have dinos ready to go, you guys. We're going to get the Draco Rex out. And the Hwangasaurus here in a bit, too. All right, well, this is a small critter. Only the bottom portion opened. Look at that, he's tiny. A dinosaur has been successful. Okay, I guess the Hwangasaurus is ready here in a bit, you guys. Look at that little guy. Unfortunately, it's over here in the shade. Can't see him too well. But he should be able to hold his own, I'm sure. I'm sure. Especially here in the airport area. All hail the Dragon King. The Draco Rex. Sounds so intimidating. But it's just a plant eater. However, just in case they do rule the Earth again, don't tell them I said that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, at least I apparently pronounced it correctly, so that's good, right? Anyways, and I, I'm like, you did kind of say, yeah, the king of dragons, you think it wouldn't be a plant eater, <laughs> just like it fooled me earlier on. Ooh, this is going to be a big one, huh? Mmm, decently big. I'd say a little bit smaller than the trike, maybe? Pretty good size. Should be pretty good for our variety, too. Whoa, kind of did a bit of a jump right there. Ah, the Huayangasaurus. Another member of the Stegosaurians. Huayangasaurus. Uh, I was pretty close. I was pretty close. Open the gate. Open the gate and let them free. I wonder how long that takes until... Oh! Here's a chance to really prove yourself. So we have a new mission over here. A new quest, contract, whatever. Use the expedition center to unearth a drink. What? Really? That's nothing. 125,000? I'm like, we have nothing for science division, you guys. We really need to do stuff for science. We're doing everything for entertainment. Pretty much nothing for security right now. Especially because our, our rating is only 1.3. See if we can get something for science. See if we could actually request something from her. Whoops, hitting the wrong buttons. <laughs> Control room, request contract, new contract from her. Yes, we do need... Um, yeah. Because we have one open for security, you know, to get up the two-star rating. And of course, we've been doing a lot of uh, entertainment lately. Word is that a new contract is available. Okay, increase your dinosaur rating to two stars. Okay, should be decently easy to do that. Just need to get a little bit more variety and stuff. Be sure to take a look at your dino rating stat line. It's a critical snapshot of where we are. Where you are. 
Yeah, I've been looking at it. But uh, let's go to reputation. Let's go take it. Oh, whoops. That's the wrong thing. I want to go look at the actual. There we go. Isla Mantenceros. Go here to dinosaur rating. So we're currently at, uh, was that one and a quarter maybe stars right there? Great variety. Great wel welfare. And I assume we can get that up by getting even more variety. Authenticity. Yeah, I'm getting better uh, genomes and stuff. That's definitely going to help out a lot. We're at two and a fifth star-ish on facility ratings. Shelter protection. Great. I think that helped out. Poor satisfaction though. What? Maybe I can lower the prices and they'd be a little bit more satisfied. How are we doing on here? A $5 burger? Yeah, we can lower that. Man, staff. Two staff. Let's get some more staff. I feel like with a park with a lot of people, might as well get... Let's go with the three. That should be good. What about the gift place over here? The gift shop. I'm like, when we have more employees, that probably makes our bottom line a lot higher too, right? Total per minute, $8. Running cost, $7. Guests, three out of 600. Mmm. Not really too many guests. Might want to make that a little bit cheaper. $1 profit or... Man, yeah, let's keep it at that. Dino bites, dino dish. Let's do that. Dino dish. Oh, man. I didn't know there were different dishes. Dino feast. Okay, maybe that's why. I only changed the price on dino bites. All right, well, I'm learning here, you guys. I'm learning. Expense $6. Let's make that uh, sell for $7. $8. That's good. Total per minute, $1. Dino feast. Oh, that's just saying which meal is being sold. Ooh. So I guess they don't have three different meals. Okay, we're going to move up to Dino Dish. We're making away a dollar, two dollar profit from those, but we're making a profit, so that's good, I guess. <laughs> uh, what about the gift shop? What do they have here other than lunchbox? Uh, but, mm, night vision goggles. Ooh, Barbasol. I think we should be fine with that. Ten dollar expense. Let's go up to like, yeah, let's do twelve dollars. Twelve dollars for that. That should be good. The Draco Rex has not gotten out of the area just yet. Ooh, he definitely wants to have multiple here because his social... Look at that little thing there on the left. It's in the red right now. I assume he wants to have maybe one more of these guys around here. So let's, let's make a second one. Let's give him a friend. That way his social is going to go up. Make sure he's nice and satisfied. Incubate him. There we go. And let's go check the uh, stuff for the Hyangasaurus as well. Social on that one's pretty low as well. Might want to get a second one. This one doesn't care when there's only one. What about the trike? Where's my trike? Triceratops. Sarasaurus is at five, four, almost five stars. Wow. Wow, really awesome. Ooh, a hatchling is too weak to survive. One of your dinosaurs has failed to incubate. I never said bringing back dinosaurs was going to be easy. Yeah, there's always a chance to fail, especially when you don't have a full genome and stuff. What is it? What are we at? Like 50% or something like that for the Dragorex? The hell's bound to happen. And eventually it finally happened, right? Incubating a dinosaur with less than 100% genome can fail. The viability trait determines the chance of incubation success. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I didn't really like it going under 50% viability. And I don't think I did any modifications for the Draco Rex. Maybe I... I don't think I did. Yeah. I don't think I did any modifications for Draco Rex or the Hyangasaurus. So I think we're fine on both. Success rate upgrades applied to the Hammond Creation Lab will increase viability. Gene modifications decrease viability. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Should probably go do a little bit of research. Gene modifications will increase the incubation costs, but can produce dinosaurs with significant benefits and higher rating. Yes. We learned that, especially with the Ceratosaurus over here with a lot of rating. Might want to get a second one, honestly. Didn't I say I wasn't going to make a second one? But I didn't. So I guess I'm going to have to do that here in a bit. Look at him. Trike is right here next to the viewing station. That is a perfect location. Trike definitely want to want to have another trike. Definitely want to have a second trike here. As well as a second. Oh, wait. Uh, incubation failed. Discard. Just discard of it like a piece of trash. Jeez. But thankfully the Triceratops over here. We, yeah, let's go do the research first. Just in case. I'm like, it is at 91% uh, genome. There is still that 9% chance that it can fail. So let's go back to enclosures, buildings. Visitor, visitor, blah, blah, blah. Genetic research. Trait gene. Building upgrades. Hammond Creation Lab, yes. So we could do it right now for 100,000. Yes, let's do it just to make it a little bit better for everything that we're going to make. But that's going to be three minutes. But for the time being, I think it's going to be pretty safe. Yeah, 91%. We, we've got the numbers on our side. Shouldn't have any, shouldn't have any problems with this. <laughs> but uh, let's see if we can get another Hyangasaurus out of this. Give our uh, other one a friend. There we go. And let's go send the expedition team on yet another endeavor to hopefully get ourselves some more fossils. Now, where shall we go next? Requires more expedition centers. Yeah, okay. Well, that probably explains why we can't go to certain locations. Ceratosaurus might want to get more on that one just so, you know, it, it's a pretty highly rated dinosaur. Might as well get even more stuff for it. Edmontosaurus. Yeah. Kind of want to get that one. But then again, we could do... Mm, which no! It failed the hatch! No! The 9% worked against us! No! Let's send the expedition team there to the Lance, uh, whatever, where we can get three different fossils. 
Man, oh wait, no, that was the Hewangus horse that failed there. Yeah, that makes sense for 57%. Okay, just throw that thing like a piece of trash. Then, <laughs> should we get another Ceratus horse? Should we steal my, yeah, let's get another. Mm, he, he seems to be pretty good on his own. He doesn't need a friend. Doesn't need a friend. Edmontosaurus, we don't have one right now because of course ours died recently. So let's get one of those. I don't quite know how this guy is when it comes to social. So don't know if we need to make another one just to make his social go up a little bit more. Yeah, let's keep this gate open. I guess it just stays open. Manually open open and close it, so I guess we can just keep it like that until we make another Ceratosaurus, so I guess we could worry about that a little bit later, but for right now, yeah, let's get rid of this gate, get a little bit of money back, right, uh, 50, whoa, 55,000, sheesh, that is a lot of money, 4 million dollars in my pockets, almost at 2 stars, you guys, yes, uh, mostly from the facility rating, wow, they must have liked my new prices, uh, getting a new menu, <gasps> ready to release, yes, we have a new trike, and release the dinosaur, 91% viability, 39 rating, 33 defense, very very, very nice. Let's release the trike. I guess I could skip this. I'm like, we've already seen it a few times, you guys. But man, I love it every time we release a dinosaur. Comes out. I wonder if we could have like any mutations. Especially because it's not 100%. Uh, man! Any uh, like positive mutations, you know? Because of course we don't, we don't have 100% genome. I see you've hatched a triceratops. Might be cute now, but that's only going to last for about a week. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, but I wonder if there's going to be any positive mutations. Of course, there's probably negative ones, like, you know, being more susceptible to diseases and all that kind of stuff, which isn't necessarily a mutation, it's just kind of a, what happens when you don't have the full genome and stuff, you know? Clothes shop. Oh yeah, I could do stuff for this. Dino hat. Oh, dino hat, dino shirt. Mm, yeah, di I feel like shirts are going to be a lot more popular. Let's go to $15. Managed staff, let's get a little bit more. So, yeah, it seems popular. A lot of guests there, you guys. Oh yeah, you don't need, yeah, only, okay, one person staff is fine. I didn't notice that, but when you have more staff, they can deal with more guests, but one staff, or one little staff icon select is good enough for 320 guests, so we're fine. Let's go back to the dino restaurant. I think I turned that up to like three unnecessarily. Yeah, no one's really going there. Might want to lower the prices a little bit. We're running a profit if we get one profit per dino dish. We need more people, so it might be worth it to lower the price a little bit more. Now this one, we're getting $1 profit. There we go. Two customers. Let's go to $15 for that. Ah, that's a lot of money, but it is a gift shop. You're not really expecting cheap items in a gift shop, especially in a theme park, right? Man. Anyways, let's go back to the clothes shop. How much can we charge before people just kind of forget about this place? $12? Seems pretty good. I'm like 15? That definitely drove down a lot of people. Let's keep it at 15. That seems good. $15 for a dino shirt. What a dino onesie! <laughs> Whoa, $111,000 per minute. Wow, that's awesome. So we can release the Edmontosaurus now. Nice, didn't have any problems. That's great. And I assume this guy is going to look the same. Looks like a big paint can exploded next to his head <laughs> with those colors. Definitely makes it unique, though. You've got to admit, I love that color. Okay, that was kind of rude. Didn't need to burp there, Edmontosaurus. <laughs> Oh, I never heard that before. There's like an announcement saying, Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to announce an Edmontosaurus to the park. I'm like, the previous one did die, so there's new people here that probably don't know that we had one, right? <laughs> Genetic research. Do we have anything new here? That's actually, nah, we don't have anything new. We're probably going to get new stuff here in the future once we actually get to the second island, because of course we are only on the first island right now. But look at this. Oh my. Yeah. There's like four dinos right next to each other. Let's go out to Ranger Team 1, drive the vehicle. Let's go into the area, you guys. And let's get a nice picture of like four or five guys in the same picture. Oh, crash right into the gate. <laughs> Man, let's not spook them either. It's the one thing we can't control and have to accept about these creatures. Well. Some of them have the instinct to kill. Did anything happen? Did something happen? I don't know. Hopefully not. I'm like herbivores. Uh, things may happen. They, they, they can clash. It's not like they're all going to be friendly with each other all the time, you know? Collect the reward. What happened? Anything bad? Nothing? Might as well refill the, uh, the feeder here in a bit. Ooh, let's get a bit closer. And that one's worth- wow, a lot of money there. Not bad. Composition bonus, really nice, probably because of, uh, the critters in the different parts of the photo, maybe? Diverse behavior bonus, yes. So, some of them are eating, some of them are just hanging out. That's kind of cool. We got, uh, different dinosaurs there, so got extra money for that, but- Species repetition penalty, $700. Not going to complain, $9,000 right there, not bad. Can't wait to see that. What about our, uh, trikes? Wait, where's the other trike? So we have one... There's one there. Didn't we have a second trike? Yeah, he might be somewhere else on the map. Hmm. 
Cool. Lots of roaring and stuff going on right now, you guys. Anyways, I guess I'm fine right here. Don't need to resupply that thing right now, at least. But I wonder if anything bad happened in the Ceratosaurus area. Because we did just get a little word. Nah, it seems like the Ceratosaurus is fine. His social is fine right now. He's fine with a big population, but of course we know whenever he has a bunch of, uh, bunch of critters nearby, he's going to feasts. Man, this is very popular. I love how we put a very popular thing kind of towards the back. People have to, like, travel through the rest of the park and, you know, see the other stuff. Spend some money here, spend some money there. Let's put a gift shop next to the... I'm like, the, the gift shop in the front isn't really selling anything too substantial, so I'm like, we're only selling one item there. Operations, guests, gift shop, 130000 Pretty good fun, pretty good shopping. That's good for food and drink. Is there, like, a restaurant? You need to give dinosaurs the right environment if they're going to thrive. Yeah, I must not have given a perfect environment for something we just we just incubated. Comfort considers open grassland, forest cover, social group, and enclosure population. Yeah, I'm trying to work with their social bits here and there, you know? Trying to make multiple critters. I'm like, we do have two trikes. We have to work on uh, multiple other things, like the Hyangas Horus and stuff. Every species has a different tolerance for each issue. Yeah, I, I've been paying attention to that. When below the overall comfort threshold, all dinosaurs attempt escape, breaking fences and attacking guests. Yeah. Yeah, that might be... If this Ceratosaurus is upset, we definitely need to watch it. Oh, where is he? Oh, I don't see him. Oh, there he is right there, hanging out in the jungle. All right, well, he seems fine on everything right now. That's good. I kind of want to make a second one, you know, just so, you know, he has a friend. And I'm like, his social ability can go up a little bit more before he gets a little bit too uncomfortable and stuff, you know? So, how's about... Yeah, let's go get some Ceratosaurus DNA from Portugal. Go all the way over there. Let the expedition team at least do something, you know? And over here we do have fossils, I believe. Yes, we have Edmontosaurus genome right there. Eh, one star. I eh, can't complain too much. $5,000 to get uh, that extracted. Have some more trike stuff. And 91%. We might be able to hit that if we get, like, one amber. So definitely want to go send those guys out and get some more uh, trike DNA here in the future. Anyways, let's just let that go. Do what it needs to do. Research center. I haven't done anything there in a while. How are we doing over here? And I'm like, we have the trike with the Hawaiian Gasaurus. But then again, they do have a possibility of these guys uh, failing to incubate and stuff, but... To 10,000. We have a lot of money. We have $4 million. We need to spend it, you guys, especially getting more dinosaurs to make them more comfortable, you know, up their comfort level and all that kind of stuff. Definitely worth the money. I'm like, I'm not over here hoarding money. I definitely want to make my park the best park possible for my guests. So, can't really just, like, sit around and let my money pile up like Mr. Krabs or anything. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, there's nothing else here. I forgot, but... Oh! Something's happening! Something's happening! Ceratosaurus trying to escape her! Oh, no! We have an escaped critter! We have an escaped- Oh, no! The Draco Rex is a danger to guests. Oh, no. Hold on. Where in the world? There it is right there. Hold on. Uh, ACU helicopter, tranquilize. Add task, tranquilize. Uh-oh. That looks expensive. You should get that fixed, and soon. A ranger team is equipped for that. Yeah, I, I just realized that. That thing. Probably need to make some electrical fences. I didn't think I need electrical fences for the herbivores, but of course... This happened, so <laughs> this is kind of a bad deal here, you guys. Are they good? I can't really see it with the trees in the way. They might be fine once the ACU helicopter heads back. Uh, they might be fine, but definitely need to go repair the, the gate over here, too. Definitely need to go repair it. Oh, fossils. Yeah, I knew. Let's go. Oh, there we go. I guess we're fine now. Okay, well, I guess that gate's fixed, so that's good. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Is this place good for uh, transporting this critter? I don't know where it is. Probably somewhere in there. There it is. I, I just selected it. All right. That was kind of random. Let's move it back over here, and uh, it's going to be kind of expensive. It's going to be kind of expensive to turn everything into uh, electrical fences. So the Ceratosaurus seems fine. He seems rather happy. Pretty highly rated over there. I, I, I hope adding a second Ceratosaurus does not make him want to, you know, escape. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, we definitely need to turn these into electrical fences. So replace. Let's turn that on. And let's turn these electrical, or let's turn these regular fences into electrical fences. Definitely need this to prevent that from ever happening again. <laughs> oh! Ranger station repair. Whoa, whoa! Storms can damage structures in the park. If severely damaged, it can stop functioning. Fences can also be damaged by dinosaurs. Yeah, that's what happened earlier. Select a ranger unit using R and use a ranger team to manually initiate repairs or assign them to repair tasks to carry out. Yeah, I, I probably could have used them to uh, repair that gate, but I just kind of built another one. <laughs> repairs can sometimes take time to be completed. All right, makes sense. Anyways, I'm trying to upgrade these gates and stuff. So there we go. Are they over here yet? Where's the hell? Oh, there's a the helicopter right there. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to do that again, are you, Dracorex? Sheesh. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh, no power. Yeah, I should probably do something about that. It's on the other side of the gate, so I do need to have another pylon. Asset has been transported. All right, thank you very much. They did a great job. Oh, that was pretty fast. I'm like, at least we noticed it before uh, anything bad happened from that experience and stuff, you know? <laughs> Anyways. There you go. I assume this can just uh, transfer energy around the thing, all right? Now, let's actually connect it up to some power. Substation. We have a substation here. I might want to move that a little bit closer, you guys. Might want to move it to be about right here. That way, it connects us to the fences. And it's right next to the ranger station, too. So, there you go. Kind of want to demolish this substation. Turn it into just a regular old pylon. Yes. Demolish that 16,000. Just turn it into a regular pylon. Let's get our power back. I know some things might not be able to work right now. And there you go. Connect that. And connect that to that there we go things are connected you got a knack for solving problems that's a valuable skill especially around here nice we hit two stars two and a half now Ooh, a new security mission lambert here i've got a new assignment that i think is perfect for your skill set give it a once over then let me know if you're interested all right. Acquire 50% genome for the end. What, what in the world? I already have that. Um, acquire 50% of the genome and we can proceed. Does that mean I already have this completed? Or do I have to, like, make another Edmontosaurus? Um, construct an ACU center. Yeah, I've already done that. Incubate and release. Glad to have you on board. As you can imagine, the animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. Yep. All right, well, I can't power these unless I have, like, a thing back here. I'm going to need you to extract enough DNA from fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. Yeah, I should be able to do that. I'm like, we already have an Edmontosaurus over here. Okay. Next, you'll need to incubate the animal in a Hammond Creation Laboratory before releasing and housing it in an enclosure. You'll also want to make sure we've got an ACU presence on this island. What in the world? Does this not have power? Wait, did the whole... You are making the entertainment division the crown jewel of this entire operation. I guess this hotel doesn't have power. What in the world? I thought it did. Unless I don't want... Oh, I might not have enough power, like, in general. Ooh, I did not think about that. Uh, unused power zero. <gasps> yeah, we need another power thing. Okay, okay. That, that explains it. Let's do a little bit of research for the power plants and stuff. See if we can actually get them to be a little bit more efficient. And let's go to buildings. Building upgrades, that's what we need. Outage protection, improved output, power upgrades. Okay, let's do that. Increase the total output of upgraded power stations by 14%. That's great, because we have two power stations we could use. That's awesome. 5% risk of a power outage, though. It will be worth it, I'm sure. So how long is it going to take? Three minutes, man. Hopefully we can get by with those things being unpowered for a little while for three whole minutes. Oh, when things go wrong... Who do they turn to first? You guessed it. So consider this contract part of us always being ready. Oh man, whoa, this is going to give me a reputation for entertainment and security. Not like I need it for either, because I, I need to do stuff for science, you guys. Man, financial security is just another item on the list of things we need to protect. Here's a contract to ensure we do just that, which 150,000 profit per minute. Man, I don't know if I could do another mission right now. I'm always interested in new ways to take care of our dinosaurs rather than just the cash. But even for blue, well, Dino Kibble ain't cheap. <laughs> yeah. So I assume he's kind of alluding to one of our feeders getting low. Maybe the uh, the thing over here? The uh, Ceratosaurus one? Is that one fine? Mm, live bait feeder down to six. Yeah, we're, we're, we're fine. We don't need to worry about that one for a little while. But anyways, hopefully the upgrade is going to be finished here in a bit. Come on, please, please, please. View research. How's it doing? Upgrades down to two minutes. Ooh, it should be done here soon, hopefully. <laughs> But let's see, incubate and release a Hammond Creation Lab Edmontosaurus. Let's get another one of those. Hold on, let's look at our current Edmontosaurus. How's he doing? Yeah, let's definitely get a second one because he wants it for social uh, reasons. Oh, well, never mind. We uh, have two Kiwangasauruses ready to be released. I guess I wasn't paying attention. All right, well, we've already seen these guys a few times. So don't need to watch it again. So I guess we're releasing both of those guys right now. Fence broken. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Right here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is a bad idea. Add task. Oh! Again? The same critter? No, man! I thought I made it an electrical fence. 
Did he break through the... Is that not electrical? Ooh, that might be why. That might not be electrical right there, you guys. That would explain it. Oh, come on, take it. Take it down. Eliminate the threats. Man, lots of tranks on them. Come on, how many more? I can improve these guys' accuracy, I believe. There we go, it's down. Okay, whew. That's good. That's good. Transportation. Come on. Let's go pick it up. Transport team. Pick up that critter. Transport that to there. Asset collection request received. All right, and let's get the rangers out and select ranger team one to repair. Responding to repair request. There we go, repair those. I don't know if I could put electrical fences there, or maybe they were electrical, but I don't know. There we go, improved output, uh, output is done. Let's upgrade both of these. Reduced upkeep and improved output. There we go, 40k. That's going to be great, especially because we need it. The hotel is basically not working right now. <laughs> Let's give this one an upgrade as well. I wonder if I can do two upgrades. Can I do two for this one? To have better efficiency for that one as well? Mm, I don't know. Might be able to, but I don't know if I want to do it right now. So this one's outputting 68. It was doing uh, 60. And now, okay, we have three extra that we could use. Yeah, that might be why all the electrical fences. Maybe we didn't have enough power to cover it all. In progress. All right. Maybe that's why. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That enclosure here. That's not electrical. Replace. There we go. That might be why it survived. Yeah, even this one's electrical. Man, I missed a spot. That definitely did us a lot of damage. Hopefully nothing happened. Did anyone die? Let's check our park. Hey, has anyone died? No. Oh, no guest injuries. Whoo. And I assume that also means, you know, death. So hopefully we're fine on that.